Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma, who is in Karnataka to campaign for the Bharatiya Janata Party as the state goes to polls on May 10th, came down heavily on the Congress by saying that Congress has done great injustice to the people of Karnataka. Speaking on the contents of textbooks in India, Chief Minister Sarma said, the only leader I knew from Karnataka was Tipu Sultan and not the likes of Basaveshwara and Rani Chinnamma. Congress has only discussed about people who can kill their own family, he said. He said, Prime Minister Modi is reinventing India in the way it should have been during independence. Then, when in my intensive discussion in Karnataka, I have learned many things about the Baseveshara, his con contribution to the entire humanity. Then when I went to Belgam, I learned about Rani Sinama. But in Assam, I never heard this philosophies in depth. Only, only name we heard in Assam from Karnataka as a historical figure, that was only Tipu Sultan. In our textbook, the mention of Tipu Sultan is there. But there was no mention of Kampagwada. There is no mention of Baseveshara. There is no mention of Rani Sinama. So this kind of thing Congress has done, they have done great injustice to the Karnataka. And I am sure that people of Karnataka has not knew about the contribution of Lassit Barfukan, about the contribution of Srimanta Mahapuru Srimanta Sankardev, because Congress during the 75 years of their journey, most of the time they were in ruling, under the influence of left, they only inform us who is Tipu Sultan, who is Aurangzeb, who is Babar. So every child of this country knows who is Babar. Every child of this country knows who is Aurangzeb. Every child of this country knows good or bad, who is Tipu Sultan. But this country doesn't know who is Kampagwada beyond the South India maybe because textbook has not discussed the contribution of such legendary figure. Textbook has not discussed the huge contribution of Baseveshara to the humanity. Textbook has not discussed the bravery of Rani Sinamma. But they have discussed kind of, I will say, kind of people who can kill their own father, who can kill their own brother. Textbook has discussed about Aurangzeb, Sahajahan, Tezguru has discussed about Babar. So there is so many historical things to be corrected. And Prime Minister is doing the same thing. He is trying to bring the regional heroes of one state to the wall map. The he because they are not regional heroes, they are the wall hero. So he is go reinventing India the way India should have been reinvented at the time of independence. Speaking on the Congress manifesto that decided to ban organizations like Bajrang Dal, he questioned the Congress government as to why they did not ban PFI and why they withdrew cases against PFI. The Congress manifesto looks like that of manifesto of a Muslim League government. Also hitting back at the 40% commission jibe by Congress, he said he does not understand that as assets have increased in KPCC President D.K. Shivakumar's affidavit. So today, Congress party is saying they will, be, they will ban Bajrangdal. But why they have not banned PFI? Why Siddharama government has released 157 PFI workers? Why he has withdrawn case against PFI? Why you are doing alliance in Kerala with the Muslim League? So today the Congress manifesto, what has been released, looks like a manifesto of Muslim League government, of a probable Muslim League government. It doesn't look like a manifesto of a secular party. So I'd like to request the people of Karnataka, please vote for Narendra Modi. Please vote for BJP. Please vote for a India. Please vote for a Karnataka who can be the number one state of India. Today, whenever I go, Karnat uh, people of uh, Congress, they are saying 40%, 40%. I could not understand what is 
Bofors kickback was more than 40 percent. When you allow Kotoroshi to leave this country, the dealing must be more than 40 percent. It cannot be confined to 40 percent. And why, when I analyze the affidavit of Congress leader, I have seen the annual turnover or in annual income of Bomaiji has not increased. The increase is with the account of B.K. Sip Kumar. So, what is this 40 percent? I don't know. But I know that Rajiv Gandhi has said that when I spend money to the village, only 10 percent reach to the ordinary citizen. 90 percent doesn't reach. When asked about the Congress trying to do away with the NRC, CM Sarma said that Congress is speaking against the Indian spirit and that the party is turning out to become a complete Muslim fundamentalist party. Amara Grihamantri ji ne PFI ko ban kiya hai. Congress bol raha hai, main Bajrangal ko ban karunga. Congress bol raha hai ki main Muslim reservation dobara salu karunga. Congress bol raha hai ki Gohatta ka birodhi kanun ko, Gohatta birodhi kanun ko main dobara main Gohatta ko regularize kar dunga. Congress bol raha hai ki anti-conversion bill jo hua hai, usko khatam karunga. आज जो कांग्रेस का मैनिफेस्टो है ये कंप्लीट मुस्लिम फंडामेंटलिस्ट मैनिफेस्टो है जिन्ना भी जिंदा होता था तो ऐसा मैनिफेस्टो कभी नहीं देता था मेरा विश्वास है लेकिन आज आप जिन्ना से भी नीचे चला गया वो लोग सारे जो भारतीय है सारा भारतीय जो स्पिरिट है उनका खिलाफ बोल रहा है कर्नाटक में ये एकदम मुस्लिम फंडामेंटलिस्ट पार्टी बन चुका है